Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Uh, feels like forever since I painted last. I don't know why. I guess with all the uh, preview videos and auction things, uh, just feels like forever. Um, anyway, uh, thanks to all who participated in the auction. It was a great success. I will never ever do that many pieces again, I promise you. It made for a long day and my bad. 20 items or less from now on, promise. Uh, so I was gonna show you the results from the last video where I was experimenting with uh, both the folk art uh, uh, color shift paint and the deco art extreme sheen. And it occurred to me today that trying to mix two experiments together probably wasn't a good idea. So I'm going to split them out and just focus on one thing at a time. So this first video today will be just on the Deco Art Extreme Sheen, but not I'm not going for the cloud effect or true ring pour or pearls or anything like that. I'm just gonna use it like it's regular paint because I wanna see what it does when just used uh, in a more traditional manner. <clears throat> and then I will buy some more color shift paint and we will play with those. Um, I'm itching to do a big one because I feel like I've been doing a lot of little paintings. Um, I have two 12 by 12s today, um, but tomorrow I want to film an 18 by 24, so that'll be fun. Anyway, let me show you the results. So first up is the 12 by 12 that we're going to pour over today, like immediately. It's this thing, like it just, it dried nicely and it's very, very smooth and silky. It's just, it's just a hot mess. Like it's just blah, it's just blah. That's the word for it, blah. So we're gonna pour over that guy. And then the best one of the day was the second one, which was this little five inch square and it dried fantastic. And you can see it changed from pink to purple. And that worked out really great. This turned out really nice. So uh, he's hanging out, that'll get resined. Uh, yeah, I really like this. So I de definitely wanna play with the color shift some more. Um, and I know you can add iridescent paint um, and make things all shimmery and shiny and things. I just wanna use the traditional color shift, so. And then the third one I did was this one. And it, it's color shifting too, but since the black and the white were not, um, it doesn't have the same pizzazz. So if I have leftover paint, I may pour over this guy. I mean, it's perfectly fine. It's pretty enough, but um, it doesn't wow me. So with that said, let me get you down. Oh, that doesn't want to bend. How about now? So there it is. I will adjust that. Kind of like... Which way? This way? Am I crooked? Yeah, there we go. So colors for this endeavor are, endeavor, endeavor. I have the extreme sheen in pink tourmaline, or lime, however you'd like to say it. I have the uh, 24 karat gold, which is, I should put them up here. There's one, there's a second. And then I had some, they don't go very far, tiny little two ounce uh, containers, aquamarine, you know, the basic, basic aqua color. And then for the blue, I have sapphire. And this was open and I didn't quite have enough of it. So I added a little bit of ice blue, just like a dollop to get me um, two thirds of a cup. And then I have a big old cup I've been pre-mixing white um, for tomorrow's 18 by 24. So I have a ton of white paint. Obviously, I'm not going to use this giant thing of the Artist Law Flow Acrylic in White. My pouring medium uh, recipe, it's the same as it was last time. So I don't remember it offhand. I'll have to edit it into the video because um, I'll have to look at the last video to remember. And I had, I had about a cup of it left in my little container, so I can't recall. But I did do a one-to-one -one ratio, and I added a little bit of water 
to the blues because they just felt rubbery to me. That's the best way, like almost stringy like. Like they definitely have a different consistency from regular acrylics. And I added just a single drop of my spot on treadmill silicone to the colors. And we are just going to use more of the colors in this first 12 by 12 and more of the white in the second one and see what happens. So that's the plan. Actually, I think I want to do it in reverse. I'm going to use more white in this first one. So let me start off with the lid. Can you guys see? Can you see that cup? Barely, right? Let me move things up so you can see what I'm doing. All right, and let's start with this rose. And then let's go in sapphire blue, which looks uh, green in my yellow cup. I can't, I can't wait to be rid of this, these colored cups. There's the gold. And the teal. Add some more white. Not a lot. I don't want a sandwich pour. And let's go switch up the order and go to the blue again. And then the rose. And I want to see the gold with the rose. Just a little bit of the teal. Let's give this a flip. See what we get this time. I do remember my pori medium mix is stronger than normal. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that I remember. Um, that had extra um, Elmer's glue wall in it to try to contain the uh, cells of the extreme sheen. So I should take off my rings and find some gloves. And let that sit a second. So during the uh, live auction and people were chatting and someone, I want to say it was like Floyd Flower, was saying um, something about burning eggs and it reminded me of the time where, well let me back up, I'm a fairly decent multitasker. I'm pretty good about um, being mindful and uh, having the ability to do a bunch of things pretty much at the same time and keep on track, like talk to you guys and paint, for example. Uh, and a few years ago, I was multitasking chores around the house. Well, simultaneously, it was Easter. Well, simultaneously making a dozen eggs to make doubled eggs for Easter dinner. And I was doing laundry, vacuuming, and I decided to wash my car. And in the middle of that, I put on a big pot of water in the eggs. Uh, let me see what I wanna do. Mm, feels like this is a lot of paint. Let's see, we'll just run it out. We'll see if I wanna uh, lip it or not. I'll put paint on my corners. So I put on the pot of, uh, I put on the eggs. I even set my little egg timer and went about my day. And the egg timer never went off. Like it got stuck at two and never went off. And that's important because you know what happens to eggs? Like a dozen eggs after they've been boiling for so long, 
that all the water boiled out and it was a dry pan, they explode. And I was in the front of my house and if you go out my front door, you can see, I'm debating whether or not I wanna tilt this yet. You can see like straight down the hallway into my kitchen because my kitchen here is in the back of the house. And just as I was walking in from washing the car, my husband was coming down the steps um, from upstairs and I heard him say, holy sh!" And I'm like, and I looked up and there were eggs literally exploding in air, exploding in air. It was hilarious and awful at the same time. They literally were like grenades, like egg grenades. <laughs> and, uh, I got some lacing here. I don't know how I feel about I'm gonna move this around a little. Um, they made the biggest mess of my life in the kitchen. Huge, huge. And my husband never didn't let me live that down for like a long, long time. It was right up there with, you know, ruining uh, Thanksgiving dinner. So it's quite obvious. I should uh, do nothing in the kitchen except paint. <laughs> All right. Let me see. I love the background, so at least the top part, way more than the bottom. I'm not gonna stretch this more, even though I should probably torch now. Um, but I might just do selective torching instead. This is kind of subtle and pretty. And if I ruin it, well, maybe I just do the one 12 by 12 and save the clean one for something else. But uh, let's see what happens. I forgot my torch. See, I haven't painted in several days. Torch. It's still working. If you heard that racket. Mm. Huh. It made a boatload of caterpillars. I was waiting to see if that sells up any. So all I did was go like in a half arc to see what would happen. And I really don't think I like it with the white. It's uh, very washed out. These cells aren't all that great. They're not growing. The other half arc. Yeah, me no likey. Me no likey one bit. Let's put some color on this. Um, you know, Here's my thought on it. Might not be popular, but I'm sticking to it. That's what you get with craft paint. If this is a better quality paint with some pigment, um, it wouldn't look so, uh, it's not quite muddy yet, but it's pretty darn close. Particularly where it mixed with the white. It was like, oh, I gotta fade out. And uh, no gold whatsoever. No gold whatsoever. Very interesting. All right. So let's do it without the white. Let's take, might as well stick this in the middle. Let's take some aqua. Well, obviously I'm not gonna do uh, the other one with a lot of white because that's not gonna work out. Unless you're just gonna use uh, you know, the liquid text of the flow troll to do your uh, cloud pour. Yeah. Not liking this at all. Not even any gold cells either.
Let's put a whole boatload of gold in this. See what we get. Anyway, don't overcook your eggs, people. Or don't let me cook for you. <laughs> One of the two. Yeah, I don't like this at all. Way too washed out for me. Yeah. All right, we're gonna lift this in a circle. See if you get some of the rose to show up. And we're only, we won't stretch it out quite so much before we torch. See if we get better cells. Kind of like that. All right, let's try again. Actually, that's kind of pretty. It's gonna go in a circle. And let's get some. I'm trying to leave the center plain. All right, let's see what this does. back to the middle. Go up that one side, come back. All right, this is looking way better. Let me flip it around. I'm gonna go kind of slow. I don't know if this is for me, this stuff. I have a bias, um, I have a craft paint bias, I'll admit it, I really do. The cells are, are they're okay-ish. The whole thing still just looks washed out to me. Maybe, maybe it dries darker and I'm not used to it. Maybe that's it. I don't know y'all. That is uh, not my favorite right there at all. Definitely not my favorite. Hmm. 
I just want to see what these look like without the white if they're better or this could be you know even though it's a failed experiment you just know that uh, this uh, particular paint brand and type uh, doesn't like the uh, glue uh, and golden gloss pori medium pour, uh, recipe that it does not do well with that recipe at all so I guess for that it's useful so I'll post this you know, put the video up so you can see, but it's just, uh, blah, blah. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to scrape it like right now because <laughs> I don't like it at all. I just, it's just not my cup of tea. What can I say? I'm going to, uh, scrape this throw the rest of the colors on hope for the best but uh it's just it's just not my uh, preference I guess yeah totally not my preference and I just feel like it muddies super super fast so let me take my stick out of the white let me see I want to see how fast it muddies up so Swirl this around for giggles. That's not, that's, there's not enough paint on here to go anywhere or do anything. Yeah, and this just, it just disintegrates, just, it just disintegrates right there. Like, yeah, we'll use this uh, to help paint flow around. So, I think what I'll do is dirty pour some into a white instead of trying to flip and drag it. Let's just pour some. You might as well keep experimenting, right? Right. So, let me get a cup. And I'll fill it up fairly full with white. Now we'll just dirty pour the colors in here and see what happens. See a paint, um, like a good opaque paint with some pigment would at least sink into the white for a couple seconds before floating to the top. Even the transparents will do it. This stuff, let's see that. It just, it rises to the surface super fast. It's like, we can't hang with the white. We're like little buoy paint. We're little buoys. We're coming right back up. I think there's only a little bit of gold left. Well, I had a, um, a 50% off my total purchase coupon. So I feel, I don't feel so bad about wasting paint today. I think maybe this is like eight bucks or something. So not too bad. So you can get this to go in. All right, that's plenty of paint. Last of the experiments. Color seems slightly more vibrant. Mm. 
Nice to have that paint underneath to help it slide around. See, I don't like that already. Like it just doesn't hold its color. I guess that's what makes it so great for doing the uh, the cloud pours and things. Oh, I like the composition right there though. I'm just trying to get rid of the bikini corner and then bring this all back again. Huh. All right, we'll give this a torch, see how it does. Maybe I'll let it dry, see what it looks like. There's still plenty of paint on there for me to uh, move this around a little bit. It just, it just doesn't hold its color. That's sort of the best one of the day. Not happy with the colors. Not happy with how it turned to mud on my countertop immediately. Not happy with deco art paint, y'all. Um, very inconsistent cells. It's just, uh, it's just not my cuppa. Let me just hold this up. I'll post it as my failed experiments with deco art and at least my pouring medium. Let's see if I stretch things out a little bit, will it help any? No. These over here are nice. There's some in here that are like totally wonky. And I just I just don't like how faded it looks. Right? Particularly for a straight pour, I expect bright, vibrant colors. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to let it dry. And uh, maybe it'll surprise me and be all shimmery when it dries. So let me fix this one corner. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it be. It's like a wintry little scene. This corner's bugging me. There we go. And uh, I'm really not feeling that ta-da on this guy. There it is. <laughs> there it is. There's my painting. Oh boy. <laughs> Where am I? Let me contain my excitement. And it's a half an hour. Enough of this nonsense. I gotta go make dinner and try not to burn anything. Let me uh, get you down close and uh, oh, where's the thought? Thanks for all the love and support and uh, I'll see you guys again tomorrow for like a real, a real 
project with an 18 by 24 canvas. See you then. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. I'll show you up close. So these random ones by themselves, this is where I torched the second time. They're nice. I like uh, the spacing. That's really cool. Um, where I stretched it out. I don't know. I just expected for, you know, extreme sheen to to have be a little more lively given what the colors look like in the cup. But uh, we'll see. I do like the composition. Maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe it'll look great when it's dry. I don't know. Time will tell. All right, that's it. Karen over and out. Bye, guys.